Hey, hi. Um, first of all, sorry for not streaming for like a month. There was literally like no opportunity or time where I could have the house to myself to stream. <laughs> Uh, but hopefully starting this month onwards, I'll be able to at least stream once a week. I'm wanting to uh, start playing like longer games, but since it's been a while and I'm feeling kind of rusty regarding streaming, I just figured we'd do something a little like easy slash shorter, not too intensive to get back into the feel of things. Um, also, thank you so much to June Boom for following. Uh, go check out her channel. She just also started streaming recently <laughs> on the 1st of June. <laughs> um, sorry, I I missed her stream, but I watched a little bit of the, uh, the VOD. Good arts, good arts, yes. Um, okay, so I don't have the game pulled up yet because there is a opening sequence. And I wanted to watch that on stream because it looks cool. All right, let's go. The audio might be quiet. We'll fix that. <laughs> Please be advised. Yes, confirmed. It's confirmed. Neko Chishi. Taipei 101, let's go. Let's dance to this music. I guess green eyes <laughs> and eyeliner. Oh, that scared me. Alderma, thank you so much for following me. That scared me. A <laughs> big loud squeaky. Hello, hello. Alright, cool. Alright, let me lower this back to here. How's it going, Alder? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Thanks for the jump scare with the loud squeaky noise. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, let's start. With heavy footsteps, I clamber up the staircase to my apartment, aching, out of breath, and downright exhausted. Just a little bit further. I can take a step, another step, and even then, another step. Eventually, I run out of steps to take as I raise my head up, head out of an exhaustion-driven slump to see my apartment door before me. With a sigh of relief- Oops! I just knocked over a box one sec. With a sigh of relief, I drop my backpack to the floor and search for my keys. Hmm, where are they? I reach into my jeans to no avail. Probably still my backpack, I guess. This side... How about this one? Yeah, there they are. My recently rustled up keys in hand, I go to open the door, or at least attempt to. Right now, I can barely keep my eyes open. 
After a bit of fiddling, I opened the door, to my surprise, doing so without scraping the key all over the place. I've been so tired ever since we finished the show. I don't know what's gotten into me. I stand there and close my eyes for a moment. They're too heavy to open, so for now, I don't. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stressing out over this for no good reason. Everyone else is probably still there, celebrating the awesome show we pulled off tonight, and I had to leave them all behind. Of course, I wanted to stay, but heck, I'm about to collapse as it is. Staying longer wouldn't have been good for anyone. After all is said and done, I am just won't. <laughs> I just won't be able to hang out with the rest of the guys. I feel like I'm letting them down, but... Seeing the excitement on everyone's faces warmed my heart. Even if I was really only... If, even if I was really only stage crew, it was special. If only I wasn't so tired, I could fall asleep any moment now. I'm thankful, in both mind and body, that my bed is merely a few steps ahead of me. Huh? Who's there? I blink, trying to focus my tired eyes awake. What the? Somehow, in my room, right now, there's some sort of tiger man sitting on my bed and, well, reading one of my books. What? Oh, what's happening? Am I hallucinating? What the heck is this? I lose my grip around my backpack, letting it slip and hit the floor with a blow with a thud. Y your Aliao? Yes. He talks? He did call me Liao. So does that mean he knows me? You what are you? Guardian Tiger. So there's like a glossary in this game as well. Similar to the other original novel I played, Your Dry Delight. Um, Guardian Tiger, Hu Ye. Hu Ye, literally Lord Tiger, is a god in Chinese folk religion who is generally worshipped in temples of other Chinese deities. With the appearance of a tiger, Hu Ye is usually believed to be the guardian of other gods. Therefore, in Neko Jishi, Hu Ye is referred to as a guardian tiger. To many folks, guardian tigers not only protect gods themselves, but also protect the treasures of gods. Therefore, some people consider Hu Ye as symbols of wealth. It's also believed that guardian tigers can protect children and cure ill patients. It is said that they are also particularly good at treating tonsillitis. That's a very specific... <laughs> Traditionally, people provide guardian tigers raw eggs and meats as offerings. In the modern world, rumors have it that guardian tigers love Kentucky Fried Chicken. However, not all guardian tigers prefer KFC to raw meat. It is advised that those who bring KFC as offerings should also bring raw meats along. That is so interesting. Is that real? <laughs> Beigang Chao Tian Temple and Shinkan Mazu Temple, aka Shinkan Fen. Feng Tian Gong are two famous temples that worship Huye and organize related events. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those 100% uh, correctly, so that's my bad. Um, you can also find the Taipei Tiger Group run by Be Beigang Chao Tian Temple on Facebook. <laughs> Alright, little self promo plug right there. <laughs> so uh, I forgot to go over context. This game, it's an indie uh, visual novel game by a Taiwanese studio or developer. Um, I The game is free on Steam. I've purchased the voice pack. And also I did the purchase the DLC as well, because I might as well go for the whole game. The complete game, because I am a completionist. At least when it comes to buying things. <laughs> oh, all my windows disappeared, one sec. Wait, let me, let me do this here, that there. Okay, cool. He's a guardian tiger? Hmm, well, we do have a guardian tiger in my family. Actually, I should say guardian tigers. After all, I was born into a family of Jitong, mediums serving goddess Mazu. Basically, my family runs their own temple. Oh, where did the glossary thing go? Okay, Jitong. 
In Chinese folk religion, a jitong or tongji, literally divining youth or youth diviner, is a person believed to have been chosen by the deities to serve as a medium between them and humans. Jitong are usually chosen on their virtues as a representative to communicate with their people. People can also ask questions to the gods through the jitong. However, a deity will only possess the body of a jitong when they need to say something directly. Therefore, consulting a jitong during such times is considered as talking to a deity directly. Many temples have specific schedules when people can consult jitong. Alright. Despite that, I never expected to see a real guardian tiger, that's for sure. Like, I've seen a lot of tiger statues, but a living, speaking, and well, muscular guardian tiger? How is this even possible? Aren't guardian tigers considered gods? Even if they exist, normal people can't just see them, right? I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. I'm just as confused as you are. I have to figure this out. Well, he said that I couldn't see him before. Doesn't that mean he's been here this whole time? Now that I think about it, I did bring a small tiger statue with me from home. Could that be why he's here? Even if I was raised in a family of Jitong mediums, it's not like I've seen any spirits before. So, if this is a for real guardian tiger, why exactly can I see him all of a sudden? Ali, Ah, uh, well, I don't know. The only thing I can think about is how tired I was after the show ended. That must have something to do with it, but I don't know what. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> how can a guardian tiger be so careless? Uh, um, so... You're a guardian tiger, right? The very one in the statue I brought here to Taipei? Okay. So, does that mean you've been staying in my room this whole time? Ever since I moved to Taipei for college, I've been living alone in this small apartment. And I'm a student, so it's normal for me to not care much about my room, not to mention what I do in it. Then, if this guy's been staying with me all this time... Yes, I can't go That makes sense. I did put his statue on my bookshelf after all. He has no other choice but stick around here all the time. Uh, wait. You would have seen that, right? I mean, uh, so you watch everything I do at home? <laughs> Not like this. Please, not like this. He said, I've seen worse. <laughs> so, does that mean everything I look at? Yeah, of course I know I can't find those. Hold on, you even know I like guys? Oh, <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> no, nope, nah. -uh. That's perfectly fine. Thank you. I'm just uh shocked. <laughs> but this is really good. I haven't seen a kid in a long time. i Decades? Other people in my family have been able to see spirits as well? Oops. Did I trigger happy with my mouse? I never believed it was actually possible to communicate with spirits. In the end, I guess all our rituals are more than just for show. Okay, so what makes me different? The guardian tiger leans in close and sniffs at me. 
His muscled form towers in front of me. With that well-outlined body, as well as his soft, stripy fur, my heart almost skips a beat. 看来有人动过你，可这是怎么？阿柳，你有什么头绪 ？Nope. The only thing is me being exhausted. But considering how much I was running around at the performance tonight, it's not like I shouldn't be tired anyway. And so with this edgy-sounding spirit power thing, what kind of bootleg shonen anime is this? <laughs> 没有吗？那就算了，总之没受伤就好，反正这是好事嘛。For supposed guardian tiger of my family, isn't he way too nonchalant about what happened to me? So you think there'll be any side effects to this? 可能还要再观察，不过有我在，没问题的了。How can you be so confident? 再怎么说，我也是神。而且如果有我处理不了的事，还可以去请城隍老爷，或是回老家找圣母娘娘。Okay, city god. In Chinese vernacular, Chenghuang, literally the walls and the moat, usually refer to the Chenghuang Shen, uh, or simply the city god. The place of the、uh, the place of city god is usually taken by a famous local resident after their death. They are governors in the of the afterlife realm, and like their living counterparts, they rule over and deal with affairs within their assigned city. For this reason, officials often worship their local city god in hope of having them coordinate work in both realms. Traditionally, a city god only protects people living within a particular area. However, many immigrants still worship the city gods of their hometowns even after moving to Taiwan. For example, the famous Xiaohai city god in Taipei is actually the city god of Tongan, Fujian. In this case, many non-local city gods in Taiwan are no longer referred to as Chenghuang, although people still worship them as local deities. The city god temple of the Taiwan Prefecture was built in Tain Tainan during the Ming Dynasty. Later, the Qing government upgraded the Xinzu City God Temple to the pre Prefectural City God Temple. After World War II, the City God Temple of Taiwan Province was built in Taipei. It is often debated which of these three city gods rule Taiwan. Holy Mother, often known as Ma Ma Mazu, I don't know the pronunciation, or Tianhu. She is the Chinese patron goddess who often who protects seafarers. Mazu is widely worshipped in the coastal regions of China and other places in East Southeast Asia. According to legend, Mazu was born during the Song Dynasty on Meizhou Island, Fujian. She had the name Lin Mongnian. Lin is her family name, and Mongnian means silent. Mongnian means silent girl. When Mazu was young, she wore red garments while standing on the shore to guide fishing boats home. Even in the most dangerous and harsh weather, it is rumored that she can predict the weather, helping sailors to know when they should set sail. When Mazu died at the age of 28, the local people believed that she flew to heaven and became a goddess. I don't know why it's so hard for me to read this、uh, white text on this black background. Starting in Fujian, worship worship of Mazu spread to the neighboring coastal provinces of Zhejiang and Guangdong, and from there on to all coastal areas of mainland China. Through immigration and especially through Chinese di diaspora during the 19th and 20th centuries, worship of Mazu fur. Further spread to Taiwan, Vietnam, Ryukyu, Japan, and Southeast Asia. The role of Mazu as patron of the seas caused newly arrived immigrants to often build temples of her first, of her first to show their gratitude for their safe journeys. Today, worship of Mazu is also found in other countries with sizable populations from these regions. I guess that does sound impressive. 当然了。有很多人说 key down 不是什么好事，可是即使运气差了点，光是能请神庇佑，至少就可以长保平安。He's saying a whole paragraph, and we only see one sentence so far. Um, possessing ritual, qi ji, literally divination, refers to the ritual of a ji tong being possessed by a spirit, also known as fu ji, spirit writing. Depending on the spirit, Jitong or local cultures, the ritual has many variations. For example, if possessed by Jigong, a minor deity in Chinese folk religion, usually depicted with a bottle of wine in their right hand, the Jitong will appear drunk. 
Afterwards, the Ji Tong's memory of being possessed will differ as well. Regardless, even if you don't seem to be a fan of us, at least one of us can still ask for their blessing of safety. Well, it's good to hear that he's happy to speak to me. Although, he seems a bit concerned about me. I wonder why people wouldn't want to be possessed. Could the tales of the Oracle's misfortune be true? Uh, where'd the glossary go? Give me that. I don't know. <laughs> the five misfortunes and three drawbacks. It's a rumor that those who try to unveil the heaven secrets, oracles, and fortune tellers alike will be punished by the gods. Those who are punished are said to lose their relatives and friends, five misfortunes, while also lacking in wealth, health, and influence, three drawbacks. Wait, what did you mean by saying I don't seem to be a fan? Huh? Who would come around at this time of night? I didn't even hear them buzz the front door. I hope this isn't my neighbors coming to complain. I haven't been that noisy, have I? Half awake, I look toward the guardian tiger sitting on my bed. Wait a second, I, I've got to hide him. I can't just have someone walking in here and seeing a real, living, breathing tiger man. Wait, wait, shouldn't I be the only person who can see him? I take a deep breath and look back at him. He doesn't seem to care what's behind the door or feel the need to hide himself. It seems I'm, I've worried over nothing. With that anxiety quelled, my worry turns toward whoever is outside my door. With no other choice, I walk over and open the door with a satisfying click. The door swings open to reveal something. Someone standing before me. A hooded figure? Uh, who are you? This can't be real. <laughs> First, that guardian tiger stalker. And now some door-knocking leopard? Clearly, my state of exhaustion has made me delirious. Who could he be? I... I can't really think of any leopard gods or monsters, not to mention his strange outfit. Actually, hold on. That reminds me of some of our costumes. What? Uh, what? <laughs> um, hello? I guess I was on the right track. He must be an aboriginal spirit. What? It takes me a second more than it should to realize he wants to enter my room. It is impolite of me to leave him waiting at the doorway, but... Oh, that's what you meant. But first, could you tell me who you are? Rukai are one of Taiwan's original peoples. They consist of six subgroups residing in southern Taiwan, each of which has its own dialect of the Rukai language. They honor clotted leopards and hundred pacer snakes, a kind of viper, which they believe to be the spirit of their ancestors. In Nekojishi, we refer to the, the Wutai tribe of the Rukai community. That's cool. Okay, I think I'm starting to get where this is going. So are you a god? A god of the Rukai? So you are here to... Whoa. Uh, 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 what? Meaning the hidden one in the Rukai language. How do you pronounce that? I read read... Is an invisible omnipresent spirit. The word is used in different ways. Sometimes it refers to a single spirit, sometimes spirits as a whole. Uh, usually lives someplace within the wild and is also thought to have human emotions. The Rukai have many taboos, and if a taboo is violated, the soul of the violator will be taken by Adri uh, in Nekojishi, is said to be the lord of the sacred lands, king of the hundred pacers. However, it is just a version of this diverse folklore. He looks around for a moment and then points to the leaflet on my bed. It's the schedule of today's performance. In other words, he brought spirits to watch our show? Our choreography was inspired by an aboriginal funeral ceremony, but it's hard to believe that there were actual aboriginal spirits watching us. The, the director would be over the moon if he knew. What? He points directly at my eyes with black pointed claws. Huh, so that's how beast men fingers are. Oh, uh huh, those little pinky. Bleh. Oh, huh, those little pink paw pads are kind of cute. Oh. 
帮你看见。嗯、hmm? ，So does that mean he's the one who awakened these spirit powers? But what for? 你要帮忙。Help. Hmm. So he awakened my powers because he wanted my help. Makes sense so far, but I have a bad feeling about this. So about this help you want, do I have to go anywhere? 去舞台。Oh, I missed the glossary. Pronounced Vedai in the Rukai language, Wu Tai is located northeast of Pingtung, Pingtung, Taiwan. It is said that when the Rukai first came to this place, they saw many clouded leopards living in the area. The Rukai people honored clouded leopards greatly. For this reason, they settled there, forming the Wu Tai tribe. What? That's really, really far away. Putting that aside, Wu Tai came up in our research of the performance. If I remember right, it is where the Rukai people come from, which means what he's saying checks out. But that doesn't change the fact that Pingtung is on the complete opposite side of Taiwan, and I don't even know what he wants me for. Why should I even think about going along with some spirit that just came knocking on my door? Ah,、oh, jeez, ah,、oh, jeez, why does he have to give me that look? Although he doesn't show much through that stern face of his, I think I let him down. I mean, he did go out of his way to awaken these powers, and after all that, I just refused him straight out. Hey, you this guy, who asked for help and just asked for help, and then tried to talk to people and then asked for help. Yeah, true that. Then asked for help and then asked for help. Yeah, true that. Yeah, true that. Even the local people are too lazy to try. The people of the village. 什么灵？我可是名正言顺的神。你都看见了我在这里，却连个招呼都没打，就想带我家孩子离开。My boy， 没礼貌也要有个限度吧。我不是邪灵，哈哈哈哈不是邪灵又怎么样？我怎么知道你是不是哪来的妖魔假扮的？原住民的神，在我看来都跟妖怪差不多。这是我家的孩子，我不放心你和他说话，你可以走了。不关你的事。插手碰别人家孩子的是你。You sure are breaking a lot of glass in the background. <laughs> The leopard and tiger lock eyes. The tiger cracks his knuckles. Looks like he's rearing up for a fight. Whoa! Wait. How did things end up with them trying to fight each other? Stop now. No fighting inside my room. The two men, well, cats, glare at each other whilst I stand between them. I figure there's no way they'll hurt me, right? If they are really going to fight, what else can I do? But aren't they spirits? I don't even know if I can touch them. What if they use some sort of spells or telekinetic powers to fight? Is there any point in getting between them at all? Wait, who the heck is calling me right now of all times? The ringtone had cut through their standoff, both turning around to look at me, watching closely to see what's going on. Trembling, I keep an eye on the two puffed-up cats as I reach for my phone. Will they even know how phones work? I pick up the phone. It's Shuchi Senpai from Dance Club. Senpai. <laughs> Hello, Senpai. Uh, what's up? <laughs> 没有啦。想说你刚刚不是很累吗？不知道现在好点了没？我带了些宵夜，一起来吃吧。He sounds like the classic friend of the protagonist character. What? Right now? If Senpai does come over, what will I do about these two big cats? It's probably safe to assume he can't see them. In which case, I'll just have to pretend I can't see them. If Manga's taught me anything, this isn't going to end well. But it'd be rude to refuse him. By the sound of it, he's already brought dinner for us. On the other hand, why is he so concerned about me all of a sudden? I mean, sure, I've talked to him, but I wouldn't call us close. He really didn't need to buy dinner and check up on me. You on your own, Senpai? Hmm.、Mm? 对哦。Er,、uh, how far off are you? <laughs> 其实我已经在你家楼下了。Oh my god! The little music note. <laughs> What? 就是这样啦
我上去了。Let's go. Wait, is Senpai? He hung up. Okay, didn't expect him to be already to already be here. What am I gonna do now? I glance at the two clueless big cats next to me. Should I ask them to hide? How should I tell them? But since Senpai won't be able to see them, it should be okay. Dang, I need to at least close the door before he comes up. Tugging Leopard by the shoulder, I push him into the room, shutting the door behind him. Guys, just hold on a second. My senpai is coming over, so please keep it down and stay quiet. Understood? The two big cats nod obediently. Okay, so what I need you to. Hello, I'm here. I brought you the Luwei. Happy? Glossary. A common food in Taiwan, lo mei is made by stewing ingredients like tofu, meatballs, vegetables, and varying other ingredients in soy sauce. Uh, um, just a second, senpai. I gulp and look back at the two big cats as I open the door. Hello. This. Hey. He's so short. Let's go short, kid. <laughs> Cute. Huh? You, you're Shuchi Senpai. What happened to Senpai? This can't be right. Senpai is definitely human. This guy in front of me is about the same height and the same short and small build as Senpai. But I know for sure Senpai isn't a cat. If someone at school was a beast man, there'd be mayhem over it. Uh, do, do ya? Aliao ni. Senpai, you look like. How did you? Aliao, you how did you? Look at this face. Can I say? Oh, his voice is cute. You can see it. Yeah. You this guy is from the past. Your voice is so weird. Uh, so I'm not wrong. Senpai, you, you're a cat? No. 我是石虎哦，石虎不是猫啦。I mean, technically. In the family of Felidae, the leopard cat Prionylurus bengalensis is a small wild cat native to South and East Asia. A leopard cat is about the same size as a domestic cat, but slenderer with longer legs and well-defined webs between its toes. Its small head is marked with two prominent dark stripes and a short and narrow white muzzle. People in Taiwan refer to leopard cats as shuhu, which means tiger residing between stones. So it's a tiger somehow. <laughs> the leopard cat is currently listed as an endangered species in Taiwan, with an estimated population below 500. Aren't they basically the same? Leopard cats are just as big as house cats, after all. Be 猫大一些好吗？老是有人把我跟猫相提并论，太屈辱了。That's beside the point, Senpai. You clearly didn't look like that before. 不，其实我一直是这样的哦，只是一般人看来是普通人而已。倒是阿辽，你怎么会突然看得到我的真身？而且。你房间里这两位，我是妈祖座前的虎爷，从小就看着阿辽长大的。Oh my god, the height difference. He, he's like half his size. 这个应该就叫青梅竹马。哎<笑><笑> ，cute. More like creepy stalker. 卢凯珠的云豹。你身旁什么时候出现这么多神怪了 ？Just today, it all happened in the blink of an eye, and even you turned out to be one of them. 不，我其实我也是有事想麻烦阿辽，才来到阿辽身边的。Really? I never would have guessed. 阿辽，你知道你的能力很珍贵吗？我知道这么拜托你，可能很突然。Well, how do you know that we can see spirits now all of a sudden, Mister Sussy? You're our only hope. All right. <clears throat> so, what do you need exactly? You see, I'm like this. Actually, I'm a priest of a small temple in the middle of the jungle. You're a priest? 
？不可能吧？这也是很常有人问的问题。石虎的虎爷是很少见了，但总之这种事，你要问也问我们家福德。我一开始也是不愿意的。Utagong, literally Lord of Blessing and Virtue, also known as Tu Tudigong, Lord of the Soil and Ground, is a deity who cares after the locals in Chinese folk religion and Taoism. Some people consider his formal title as Wu De Zheng Shen, literally Right God of Blessing and Virtue, but commoners often call him Grandfather, which reflects his close relationship with the common people. 哎，先不管这个，我们家的庙现在已经荒废了。如果不能至少有点香火的话，我家福德就。But then I'll be forced out, made to live like some stray cat. I don't want that to happen. 所以拜托你了，阿刘，帮我恢复我家香火好吗 ？If you want any compensation, I'll do whatever you want. Wait, stray cat? I thought you weren't a cat. 不要在意这种细节。<笑>不行，阿刘是我家的堂弟。没理由去其他庙宇，要帮忙也不是不行，但阿辽最后还是要回家的。Wait, when did I ever decide to go home? 这个，总之能帮忙的话，阿辽，真的不能拜托你吗？可以通灵的人非常稀有，我好不容易才找到你。你不帮忙的话，说不定再过百年也不会出现其他人。Man, the syncing of the audio to the text, not a hundred percent. So your temple is in Miaoli, right? Well, as great as it sounds, reviving a temple is easier said than done. I. Aliao, 来雾台，他看见，因为我。Hey, Pingtong is still a lot further away. 说什么呢？通灵可是阿辽自己的天赋。没有我，没有对话。<笑>你们。Just listen to me. All three of the big cats stopped, their eyes fixed on me. I don't want to go to Miaoli, Pingtong, or back home. I just want to study hard, dance, spend time with my friends, graduate, and finally get a city job. I don't want to get involved with any of this, please. 可是阿刘，难得你有能力。I never asked for it. You can't just force me to do what you want. 阿刘，总之你先冷静。这件事我们可以之后再谈。I won't make any promises. 好吧，你们也都听到了。今天就先请回吧。我留下。我不放弃。你这家伙，别气。那我也要留下来。哈？只有你们留在他身边，太不公平了。What if we were allergic to cats? That would be so sad. <笑>既然如此，我也要留在这里。反正就是谁能说服阿辽，谁就赢，对吧 ？Wait, I never promised that. 总之，我们就是不请自来了。阿辽。<笑> Disregarding my protests, Senpai made makes himself at home, plopping himself down at my table, digging into his plastic bag and taking out the lo mei, ready to eat eat it like he owns the place. Please, stop bothering me. Unable to hold myself back, I shouted out in frustration. Oh God! Oh, oh! My neighbor's ground-shaking roar thunders through the walls. Dang. Aliao, other people can't hear us speak. So it sounds like you're being crazy. If you're too loud, it might be a mental illness. Hey, I'm not going to tell you that part. Regardless, you can see how tiny my room is. All of you couldn't stay here even if you tried. There's no changing my mind on this, so please, can you all leave me alone? Even if you are all adorable beast men, you can't. Ah, ah, I let my secret out. Please don't notice. Please don't notice. Aliao, I know what you want to say, but you can't just because you have that kind of interest in them. And there is me. I won't let them bother you. Please don't 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 let them bother you. 
。可是阿良，就算你这么说，明天去社团<笑>还是会见到我的哦。<笑>你总不可能因为这样就退社吧？天，先派是 right。I love going to dance club, and it means so much to me. There's no way I'd leave just to avoid him, and he knows it. Senpai, you're so cunning. <laughs> 没有啦 <laughs> The cute portrait. He goes. Tihi. <laughs> That's not a compliment. 总之就是这样啦 No. <laughs> 阿廖，反正一定会见到我，就让我留在这里， at, 也没什么差吧 Look at his portrait. It's so cute. He's so mischievous. That's not how it works. You can still go home, and I can still, and I still can't fit this many people in my room. 但是你家虎爷肯定会在。那个云豹也不见得肯走吧。It just would be unfair. What do you mean by live with me? And other people can see you. Why would what would people think if you suddenly started living here? 你可以说我们在交往。Yeah. <laughs> He just goes for it. No way. Granted, within the club, it's no secret that me and Senpai are gay. Senpai himself is quite the charmer and cute to boost. He, his potential suitors alone, could fill a whole classroom. Still, I don't want to get into a relationship all of a sudden. It's not like I really have feelings for him or anything. It's not like I like him or anything. 哎呀，大不了不要一起回家就行了嘛。我们上课的时间又不一样。Even so, no way. Okay, well, let's go about this another way. If this leopard guy leaves, Senpai wouldn't have a reason to stay. Let's ask him instead. Um, Mr. Clouded Leopard, you do you really have to stay? Could you please? 我留下 Uh. 我留下 Can you please listen to me? 我不会把你让给别人 <laughs> The, ter- the determination. Uh, I can't tell. I'm blushing right now. Does this guy even know what he's saying? How can he get so fluent all of a sudden? Um, it it's just that at the moment, no matter what, I can't fit all three of you in this room. Okay, then we'll leave. <laughs> 没有问题 Of course, it's a problem. 这个阿廖，你是不是忘了他们是灵体？实际上，他们是不占空间的哦。虽然你可以碰到他们，但是平常他们就算要浮在空中，还是卡在桌子里都可以的， yeah, 不会很挤的啦。Stay in the desk。卡在桌子里也太没尊严，<笑>我可不会做那种事。Okay, stay on, stay on the desk. Why do you want them to stay? 因为这样，我就可以名正言顺的留在你身边呢、啊。Senpai, you have no shame. <laughs> 没有啦 <laughs> Oh man. Again, that's not a compliment. 反正我就是想留下来嘛。阿廖，不要这么不通人情了。我特地来你家陪你。如果你真的不满意的话，啊，我要我用身体补偿也不是不行。哎，呃 ，Calm down, sir. You don't have to do that. I don't care. <laughs> Regardless, I'm exhausted and actually need to take a shower. I'll deal with this later. <laughs> enough is enough. I rush into the bathroom, slam the door, and turn on the shower. What's wrong with these guys? I mean, beastmen are cute, but to have a bunch of them pop into my life all at once—it's just too much for me to deal with right now. Trying to calm myself, once again I close my eyes for a moment. The warm water flows over me, consoling my mind and soothing my drained body. I can't say I haven't thought about it before, about beast men being real, about having one close to me. Who would have thought? Perhaps somewhere out there, even if only for a day, someone would do just about anything to me to be me right now. But things are never that easy. Putting the two that wanted that want my help aside, that guardian tiger, has he really been with me ever since I was born? I have no reason not to believe him, but if I did keep him around, would I ever be truly free from my family? The whole reason I came to Taipei, the whole reason I started college, was to get away from all that. And dancing is just a big waste of time to them. If I went back home now, come on, what year is this? Who wants to be a Ji Tong? Now that I think about it, the other two options aren't much better. 
Restoring Senpai's temple means being in charge of it. Otherwise, how would you draw people in? Knocking on doors with a fan fancy pamphlet? Asking, do you have a moment to talk about our lord and tigers? <laughs> and then there's the other one. Asking me to move to Wutai. Sure, it is not as stale as being some temple priest, but the thought of living by myself in some tribe in rural Pingtong. I have things I want to do with my life. I want to help them, but it's not like I can just up and agree and change my life for these guys. No, I have to get rid of them by any means necessary, even if they are adorable beast men. With the warm water having helped collect my thoughts, I finally decide to kick them out. But when I, when I get out of the shower, I realize I've made a massive mistake. I forgot to bring a change of clothes. Normally, being the only one in the apartment, I can just walk out naked and get them whenever I want. But right now, with the three of them waiting in my room, that is no longer an option. There's a towel right there, dude. That tiger may have seen my naked body before, but I can't say the same about the other two. I briefly considered the clothes I wore today. They're all damp and sweaty. I just had a shower, so no thanks. How am I going to do this? Um, senpai? Without any other options, I shout through the door for help. Hello. Yeah, just forgot to bring some clothes in. Can you go grab them for me? Honestly, just grab anything from my closet. I'll sort it out from there. I wait for a while, but Senpai doesn't respond. All I can hear is him vaguely humming along. Senpai, you found it yet? How could you not find it? There's only one closet in my room. Uh, you think you're slick, huh? There's no way he can't find it. He's absolutely messing with me. Senpai, stop teasing me, please. I just need you to bring me some clothes. <laughs> Bro, this freaking guy, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it, I know you're doing this on purpose, Senpai. Huh? What's going on? I stand around, thoroughly confused, as the bathroom door opens suddenly, revealing Leopard holding a pair of my shorts. What? I thought the door was locked. I hide behind it quickly, carefully taking the shorts from Leopard without exposing any of my bare skin to the three big cats in the other room. After handing me my shorts, he leaves. I shut the door firmly behind him and slump against it, my heart pounding as I slide to the floor. Did he just see my naked body? Who the heck would just fling the bathroom door wide open to pass clothes to someone inside? Wouldn't it render the whole bring me clothes because I can't go out thing utterly pointless? <laughs> Seeing me didn't even face him in the slightest. Is it because he's a spirit and doesn't care? Seems plausible. Well, even if he was a bit forward about it, at least he got me out of that situation. I look at my shorts haplessly. No shirt, but that will have to do. It's better than going out naked, I guess. I put on the shorts and head out of the bathroom. <laughs> You think you're so slick. <laughs> Ignoring Senpai, I take a shirt from the closet. I usually only wear shorts in here, but naturally, I couldn't do so in front of them. Yeah, you're right. Not really. I'm just tired. I was already exhausted when I came back, not to mention all the trouble you three gave me. I could really use some sleep now. Uh, Senpai raised his half-eaten bowl of stew. He really wants me to use the same pair of chopsticks? That's like an indirect kiss. I, I don't really care for it at the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. 
我可是有肉身的，跟他们不一样，没办法飘在空中什么的。呃、uh, ，Senpai, I still don't know what's going on with you. Before I awakened, you were just an ordinary guy. Now, all of a sudden, you're like this. 是因为开眼了，所以才看得到我的真身吧？嗯，毕竟我只是附身在这个人身上而已啊。No, that makes it worse. <laughs> 难怪味道这么奇怪吗 ？So you're not actually Yan Su Qi Senpai？ 你要说不是也可以啦。不过我有好好模仿他的性格，也知道他所有记忆。So bro didn't live his own life。也没问题哦。This guy just hijacked his body. <laughs> no. What about the real Shu Qi？ 等我离开的时候，就会把身体还给他。Yeah, when will that be, dude？ 别担。So you only give him back to his wait. So you only give him back his body only when you want to. Isn't that some kind of consciousness kidnapping? 我没有这个意思哦。不过，如果这能让你更乐意帮忙的话， the poor dude. 我也不介意啦。Where's his consciousness? <laughs> I can't help but bury my hands into my face. He couldn't have missed my point any further if he tried. Well, I suppose I could let you use the bed. But are there? But are the other two really okay with it? I mean, floating in the air doesn't seem very comfortable. Even though I don't want them to stay, the warm host inside me can't simply leave my guests with nowhere to sleep. Stares at the bed intensely. That's not good. This bed is usually used by me and Aliao. It can't be because you came here and gave it to them. This little dog is so small. Let's put it on the ground. What little dog? Little dog. 太美，而且只有我有肉身，你们睡哪里都无所谓。我睡地上可是会感冒的耶。那就不要住下来呀。Yeah， 阿廖，你帮我说句话嘛。No， no。Uh， why would I have to stand up for him? Wait， didn't the tiger just say something odd about what you were saying? Um， tiger. So you usually sleep with me? 是啊。我 wait. Since when has this been happening? 从你来台北后就一直是这样了。He's so chill about it. So even though I couldn't see it before, the whole time I've been sleeping in the same bed as a big tiger man. Should I be happy? 总之，平常都是我和阿廖一起睡，没理由要让给你们。你们自己想办法吧。可是你们根本就没必要睡床啊！<笑>拜托让我睡嘛，阿廖。<笑> Stares at the bed intensely. Oh, save! I need a save. Oh, an auto save. Who should I save? Who should I? What? Who should I share my bed with? I mean, hmm. Tiger has a point. But leopard also has a point. But leopard is also very annoying. But, um, 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 whose root should I go with? Whose root should I go with first? Um, um, um. Oh, not leopard. I mean, Suchi. Leopard is just staring at the bed intensely. He can do whatever. <laughs> He'll live. I kind of want to go with tiger. Mm, but Shuchi does have a body, but he could also go back home to sleep. He does not have to sleep here. Okay, let's go with Tiger. Tiger's been sleeping with me this whole time. It's only right for him to take the place next to me. Ah, 不要了 Yeah. 阿廖，这样太狠了啦 Yeah. yeah. Sorry, senpai. I'll go get you a quilt. It's the least I can do to make up for it. Hmm. I head to the closet and get out the spare quilt, passing it to senpai. 好吧，既然这样的话，<laughs> pouting. Senpai quickly rolls out the quilt on the floor. 这一块以后就是我的地盘了，其他人禁止进入。<laughs> uh, this room is in no way big enough for someone to claim part of it. That territory of his is right next to the door. You couldn't even get out without stepping all over his sheets. Senpai, how can I get out of the room with you blocking the way? Aliao, 当然是例外了。阿廖要过来的话，我可是绝对欢迎。就算要跟我一起睡在地上也无所谓哦
No matter how you look at it, there's no space for me to squeeze into its territory, even if I wanted to. It's alright, Senpai. I know you're really excited, but I'm tired at the moment. Can you just allow me to sleep for a while? <laughs> Letting out a sigh, I turn off the light. <laughs> Afterwards, I lay myself into the bed and get cozy under the quilt. Tiger is laying in the bed as well. My bed is pretty small for two as it is, and with his size, he ends up taking up most of it. Is he really going to be sleeping with me every night? He, he's kind of big. I don't think I'll fall asleep with that easily with him next to me. But can he just... Well, can he just wrap us in his big fluffy arms, please? Hey, are we going to sleep like this? Let's sleep on top of him. Tiger glances at the bed and shuffles over onto his side, one arm outstretched across the pillow. He pats the mattress with the other, inviting me to scoot over. He raises his other arm, apparently going to hold me in his arms. Yes! Although he's trying to stop me from falling off, it also means I'll be sleeping in his embrace. I don't think I'll have any other options though. No, go ahead. I turn my head back and see Senpai eating from the paper bowl while sitting on his futon. How can he eat in the dark like this? Hey, watch what you're doing. If you make a mess, I won't clean up after you. Makes a mess. He answers while stuffing his mouth full of food. It's not my problem if he makes a mess. He'll, he's the one sleeping in it. I look back to the bed to see Tiger waiting for me. Taking a deep breath, I slowly rest myself into Tiger's arms. So where's Leopard in all this? He pulls a quilt over me. It's a cold night and the blankets the blanket is a little cold too. But with his warmth around me, I don't really feel it. I wrap myself tight in the blankets, keeping the warmth in. Usually it takes time to warm up the sheets, yet with Tiger here with me, they're already getting there. Still, I can't fall asleep. I'm embraced by his arms, feeling the heat from his body. How could I keep calm like this? Does he care at all? He's a god sleeping with his worshiper. <laughs> he seems so calm. Ah, why am I so nervous? I try to control my breathing as my whole body tightens up. There's no way this is real. At this point, I have to be in some cheesy rom-com anime. Keep calm, Liao. Get your get rid of your lewd fantasies. This guy is a guardian tiger, a god. I'm just thinking about this too much. He's a god. Maybe he wants to take care of me. He just wants to take care of me. Any impure thoughts are disrespectful. I try to convince myself as I squeeze my eyes shut. His body is so warm. How can I feel this? How can I feel a god? If I couldn't feel him already, I'd be asking myself if he really exists, but I mean, how can I be sure? I'm the only person who can sense, who can see or touch him. What if I pluck out some fur? No, that'd be incredibly disrespectful. Still, this is pretty incredible. Even though I came from a Jitong family, I never thought about actually meeting real gods. I only took the statue with me because dad insisted. How could I know there was a real god in it? And right here, this god, a giant tiger man lies before me. Well, hugging me really. If I couldn't see it for myself, I wouldn't believe anyone if they told me. Besides, compared to the guardian tiger sleeping on my bed, that statue's nothing. Why did he appear to me as an anthro tiger? Maybe his appearance is determined by my imagination? So perhaps it's totally based on my preference. He could just be a normal tiger to other worshippers. Actually, that's pretty cool. It's still a weird coincidence to have three beast man deities appear in my home, considering my unique tastes, as Tiger puts it. I look around my room. Senpai is sleeping quietly on the floor, Leopard's lying across my desk, right on top of my keyboard. How can he sleep like that? Hopefully he doesn't somehow turn it on and start pressing keys. Can spirits even use keyboards? I hope they sleep well. At least I can hear Tiger's smooth breathing. As it stands, I still can't fall asleep. Some say it's easy to go to sleep when exhausted, but everything that's happened is just keeping me awake. Suddenly, Tiger moves his arm to cover my entire chest, making my whole body tense up. I start to wonder how to escape from his embrace, just as he gently touches my nose. You still awake? I may. 
。其实我们神是可以不用睡也没关系的。Well, then can you get off my bed, please? Then why have you all been fighting over my bed? 那只小猫是因为有肉身吧？原住民的神怪我也不懂。Oh, what about you? So you sleep with me all the time? I would have never noticed. 以前你摸不到我嘛，但是我也会这样抱着你睡哦。毕竟对我来说，你就像我的孩子嘛。That's a weird way of thinking, Tiger. Oh, so I'm your childhood sweetheart now? 都行吧。你是我的信徒，对我来说就是我要照顾的孩子。不过我是从小看你长大的。实际存在的时间也不长，所以要说是一起长大也行啊。Playmate, not old at all, huh? 是啊，我只是个分灵，这你知道吧？严格说 ，the glossary disappear. Funly, also known as bun bunrei or wakamitama in Japanese, is a term that indicates both the process of division for a god to be re-enshrined somewhere else and the divided spirit, which is the result of the division. Sure. I was born after you brought me to Taipei. I have no memories from my primal spirit. You can't be my childhood sweetheart if you were only born a year ago. 可是你小时候的事，我都记得很清楚哦。呃，像是你最后一次尿床是在。啊 ，stop！ 好了，你的事我都很清楚，你的家人也是，所以要说是青梅竹马也没问题吧 ？No, no. Well, maybe. Why are you so enamored with that term, anyway? Because it's just like that. You've definitely misunderstood it. Where in the world do you learn words like this? Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like this. Like in love stories, you just learn words like What is he talking about? Aliao, you can't be caught up in those two dogs, do you understand? No matter how you say, you're Lin Jia's child. I didn't reply. I know where he's coming from, and I know if I don't get a job after I graduate, I'll have to go home. But I don't want to think about that right now. Hmm. Aliao, you don't want to go home? I never thought he'd ask me straight out like this. I don't know. Honestly, I think it's boring back home. Are you going to be angry at me? 生气是不会。It's not that boring. At least it won't be now. 可以跟所有虎爷聊天呢，只怕光讲话就让你忙死。Really? I never thought about it like that before. Living with a lot of furry guardian tigers sounds pretty good. Um, but. 没关系，你好好想想。事情有点突然，我也不希望你太快下决定。I'll consider it seriously. 我就知道阿廖最乖了。<笑>你别担心，回了老家，我们都会照顾你的。你们都说家里的虎爷有三兄弟，对吧？不过，那只是最常被请去开道的虎爷而已。In Mazu culture, Kaidao literally clear the path as a rite in the holy pilgrimage. During the Kaidao rite, guardian tigers lead the way and expel demons along the route for all the other gods in the pilgrimage. The Holy Pilgrimage is a ceremony where worshippers bring large god statues on the grand tour. People believe that gods can inspect their domain and see their people during the tour. <laughs> It's kind of cute. 其实，每个神像都有各自的灵。我们人可多了，你要是能看到啊，平时庙里可热闹。
Tiger softly continues to tell stories about the many gods of our temple. His words slowly fade away as I close my eyes. The last thing I could remember was being hugged tightly by my guardian tiger. I fall asleep, immersed in his low, warm voice. Mm, heavy. So heavy. Something is definitely pinning me down, suffocating me with its entire mass. I uselessly try to struggle against it. I can't even lift my arms or move my feet. I don't bother trying to turn myself over. A cool breeze hits my face, but it doesn't help with the heat everywhere else. What's going on? I take a deep breath and then open my eyes. In front of my face, I see a large shadow. I blink hard, trying to make out its form. A wall of muscle covered with soft, fluffy orange fur. It looks so nice. I mean, if it's not trying to kill me. Sadly, I can't really enjoy the view while being suffocated. I muster the strength to move my head and tap on my guardian tiger's arm. Alia. Um, get up. Oh, the lighting. Finally, he gets he gets of my bed gets off my bed, sparing my life. I thought I was going to die. Getting crushed to death by my own guardian tiger is a pretty stupid way to do so. Not at all. So he's been sleeping on me all this time? Even if I couldn't feel him before, it's kind of a miracle that I'm not dead already. <laughs> With my chest finally free of Tiger's weight, I cough while trying to regain my breath. Suddenly, Tiger pulls me into his chest and pats me on the back. I feel like such a kid, but I can't help but like the way he strokes my, the back of my neck with his fluffy paw. I relax and take a deep breath. It's an exotic smell that melts into the atmosphere around his body. So this is the smell of my guardian tiger? It's so incredible to think that he's standing in front of me when I know he doesn't physically exist. But right here is a strong chest to lean against while his, warm, while his fur warms me in the crisp spring morning. It's almost enough to forget the way he almost crushed me last night. Uh, all right, I'm fine. It's okay. Embarrassed, I gently push him away. <sighs> Senpai sits up in his bed, looking sleepily. It seems we just woke him up. Senpai looks up for his phone, and I pick up mine. It's 10 o'clock. Wow. I can't believe I woke up this late. I must have been exhausted last night. Morning, senpai. It's 10, by the way. How's that early now? <laughs> what? I know some people skip morning classes on Monday, but you can't say 10 o'clock is early. Well, you can see for as long as you want. I'm going to get up. Tiger moves out of my way so I can get up. As I stand, I notice Leopard standing in front of my desk, staring at me. When did he wake up, and why does he have to stare at me like that? Uh, morning. <coughs> oh my god. I just had to slap the tiger in the belly to get him to reply. He was being impolite, but dang, his rock-solid abs hurt my hand. Mm, five more pieces. What the heck is he dreaming about? Oh, 10. I mean, my classes are in the afternoon anyway, and campus is around the corner. I couldn't make it if, if I left half an hour before. So what should I do? Usually, I would just surf the internet, but with everyone here... Speaking of doing things, I'm pretty hungry right now. I should probably wait until Senpai's up, though. He did, he'd want food as well. I decided to just use my computer to pass the time, turning it on and opening up my social media pages. Wait, something feels strange. Tiger and Leopard are standing right behind me, peeking at my screen furtively. Uh, excuse me, what are you two doing? Hmm? <laughs> he just stares at what we're doing. Spying on me while I use the computer? Yeah. Could you stop, please? It it's makes me uncomfortable. I mean, it's strange to have someone watching you. Strange. But I've always been watching you. 
，我说过了吧？你电脑里有什么档案，我都知道。Even then, it's a bit different when I actually know you're doing it. Not that that means I don't mind that he did it before. Don't they understand that I have a right to privacy? Granted, am I really in a position to discuss my privacy with gods? How can I relax while being watched? Sorry, but could you two just move out of the way while I'm using my computer? 是可以了，虽然你房间多了另外那两只，我有点不放心，不是很想把视线从你身上移开。阿了，你是不想被知道你在做什么？还是不希望有人看着你。Well, both. <笑>好吧，那我去看书。Tiger walks over to my bookshelf, picking out a book just like normal. Then I notice something strange. The book is simultaneously still on the shelf and in his hand. How did he do that? Never mind. It's not important to me. Meanwhile, Leopard seems to have left the room of his own volition. Okay, well, I guess I'm free now. I mean, there's still some stuff I can't open because the other two are sticking around, but I can work with this. With nothing else to do, I spend my time on the internet until twelve. Senpai, senpai, it's time to get up. Ah, Ali, good. Ten o'clock. It's afternoon. Do you always have to get up this late? I usually don't sleep this late. 习惯了，没办法。That used to be me. Oh, can't. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> oh, so that's how you waste your life away. <laughs> 阿廖，等你大三大四也会这样啦。He doesn't really care, does he? People say the further you get in college, the less you care about it. Surely the code of honor my senpai lives by. Anyway, get up and have lunch. Otherwise, we're gonna miss class. 嗯，那我去刷牙洗脸。Senpai slides out of the bed and meanders his way into the bathroom. Hey, Senpai, what are your plans for this afternoon? 下午，跟你一起去学校啊。Senpai is barely audible over the running water. So when do you finish your classes? 课，不，我今天没课哦。Then why are you coming to school with me? 跟阿廖一起上学啊。What? 同居之后。一起上下学不是理所当然的吗<笑> ？Jill, stop messing with me, Senpai. This isn't some cheesy romance manga, you know. Senpai leaves the bathroom, wiping his face dry with my towel. Yes, my towel. <笑><笑>没有啦。不过不管怎么说，我是来阿廖你家借住嘛。<笑>你出门的时候，我不好还待在你家。回来的。Oops. Um. Why can't he just go home? <笑> Senpai, I think it's best you just go home. You don't even have clothes or anything with you, right? 对呀，所以我晚上打算回去一趟，把需要的东西带过来。Senpai, why are you insisting so hard on this? 不能输给那边那两个。昨天我也说过了，总之就是这样啦。Whatever, be my guest. So, what about lunch? 当然是跟阿廖一起吃啊。I was just thinking about getting a sandwich. Huh, Aliao, 别这样啦！吃三明治太没有气氛了。Why is that all you care about? I let out a deep sigh. Okay, I'll just grab something to eat before class. If you want a proper lunch, just go and get it now. I'll wait and keep the door for you. Hmm. Aliao, 不吃的话，我也不吃了。Come on! Unlike the others, you have a real body. You need to eat something. 我可以跟阿廖一样简单吃点。我刚起床，也不太饿。Sure, you're free to do whatever you want. 嗯，不用管我没关系，我没问题的。Senpai sits back on the mattress, pulls up the quilt to cover his legs, and starts playing with his phone. All right, now that's sorted. I get back on my computer. Messing about online until it's time to head off to class. Aliao, 差不多该出门喽 All right, ready. I close up my computer and then pick up my backpack, phone, and keys. All right, I'm heading out. Tiger, look after the house while I'm gone. 哎，等等，阿廖，我也要去。What? You mean you want to come to class with me? For what reason? 保护你啊。
Really, it's school. I don't need any protection. 不行，我不放心。没道理放着你和那只小猫独处。而且照我看来，那个原住民八成也会跟着你。你说谁是小猫 ？Wait, are you going to class with me, Mr. Leopard? He silently nods in response. So you guys are all coming to class with me? I look the three cats up and down, and they all turn to look at each other. Then they nod together. Why? 毕竟这也是机会嘛。要跟着你。再怎么说，我也没道理放任两个来路不明的家伙缠在你身边。既然如此，我当然也要去。Putting your reason aside, Tiger, didn't you say you can't be too far from the statue? 如果是关系很密切的信徒，还是可以跟的。你们林家人当然没问题。不过要是连自己的党基都没办法保护，岂不是很没面子 ？Just stop believing. God, what kind of situation am I even in? 不知道，姻缘吧。Really, my karma must be pretty garbage if I can't even get some peace and quiet at school. I mean, it's not that bad to be around three beast men, but where's my freedom? Where's my right to privacy? Aliao, you don't need to worry too much. It's not that easy, and how do you expect me to deal with these two? You can't see me. I'm just a regular one with Aliao to teach class. When do I go to school? What do I teach? It's the freedom of a high school student. That's not the point, Senpai. 而且我路上可以陪你聊天，有些课程甚至可以帮你抄笔记、做报告哦。He's simping. I can't deny his enthusiasm. You really are cunning. 也就是说，阿辽答应了，对吧？<笑>诚实面对你内心的欲望吧。What? All right, you can come if you want. Not like you've got anything better to do. Just no funny stuff. Got it? I get my things and open the door, letting the others out before locking it behind them. On the way, I go with Senpai and get some sandwiches and soy milk for lunch. Then we make it to my first lecture. Just as he wanted, Senpai sits in on my lesson. Granted, it's not his subject, and he has no reason to be here. Thankfully, there's a lot of people here today, so he won't be noticed. I sit in my usual spot in the middle of the classroom while Senpai sits right next to me, and so does Tiger and Leopard. Do they really need their own seats, though? My gaze turns to them. Tiger looks calm and used to it, but Leopard's on edge. Ever since we got onto the campus, he's been looking at pretty much everything as if he's in some new crazy world. Even after we took our seats, he's still at it. How different is his hometown anyway? Although I'm curious, he hasn't spoken a word, so I ignore him for now and get ready for class. Class begins. I start making notes while Senpai plays with his phone. All goes as expected. Well, except for Leopard, who, to my surprise, is leaning over onto my desk to see what I'm writing. It's a little weird having someone reading over my shoulder like this. I mean, unlike earlier this morning on the computer, I don't mind him watching me. Hey, that native American, don't disturb Ah Liao while teaching. No disturbance. Then don't go too close to Ah Liao. You're making him write in a difficult way, do you know? It is a little distracting to have a big cat face right next to your notebook, but I don't mind. Leopard moves his head away from my desk. 还有，你也不要像乡巴佬似的在那边晃来晃去，很让人烦躁，你知道吗？没有打扰，汉人的神，找麻烦。我可没找麻烦，你本身就是麻烦，是你突然闯进别人生活，难道你没有自觉？ Oops. 汉人的神说的话不听。What are they seriously going to argue over this? I look at Senpai, but he just glances over at Tiger and Leopard before returning to his phone. 没错，我是汉人的神，但我也是阿辽的保护者。你要是想拜托阿辽什么事、啊，就该好好听我的话。要是连这一点礼貌都没有，很让人困扰的。汉人的神找麻烦不听，我就是要找你麻烦
谁叫你？ Knock it off! I'm in class, you two. Oh, dang! I just realized that I shouted that out loud in the classroom, where no one else knows what the heck I'm going on about. Expectedly, everyone in the room stares at me. 这位同学，你说谁别吵了 ？No, it was nothing. I'm so sorry. I was just dreaming. I quietly tried to muster my defense. 上课不要打瞌睡，不想听课就出去，不要打扰其他想听课的同学。我只给你这次机会。听懂了吗 ？So harsh. Oh, yes, understood. Dang it! I completely lost my notes now. Those two cats. 抱歉，阿廖，我之前没有和呃原住民一起听你上课过，忘记你听得到了。不过我之前也说过，其他人听不到我们说话的。你既然开眼了，以后这种别人无法听到。却有神怪在你身旁说话的状况肯定不会少，你要多注意点才好。Yeah, I realize that now. I just need some time to be accustomed to this, and you're in no place to criticize me. I feel ashamed and angry as I bury my face in my arms. I can't even listen to the class at this point. Those two troublemakers remain silent from then onwards, which isn't much help now that the entire room has their eyes on me. Afterwards, I have to drag myself out of the class. At least Senpai gives me a reassuring pat on the shoulder. 辛苦了，阿廖，没想到会发生这种事呢。It really could have. What the heck was I thinking? 对不起，你没资格说。Chill. It's all right. You don't have to. I just remember that I'm talking to nothing again. Thankfully, this time I'm walking in the corridor, and it looks like I'm just talking to Senpai. 阿廖，你为什么要包庇这个原住民 ？Could you stop calling him Aborigine? It's really not appropriate these days. I make sure to speak quietly, pretending I'm only that I'm only talking to Senpai. There's no need to play the race card now, and he didn't really bother me to begin with. So just don't just lay the blame on him. 汉人的神这种话可是他先说的，我可没有叫他还纳还是什么？难道就连叫他原住民也不行吗 ？You are chill, Tiger. It's not your words; it's your attitude. 你是叫我不要讨厌他？ Yeah. Uh, yes. This I can't do. Okay, don't do it. You're the big temple of Baal. Why are you so arrogant? What? Nicolau. You can't talk to this stupid little monkey. Don't call me little monkey. Sigh. I leave them alone and walk to my next class. At least they somehow managed to stop arguing during my next class. Finally, I have some peace. Senpai's full attention is now on his phone, but my notes are severely lacking. I see some of the same people from my last class looking at me. Embarrassed, I can't help but try and huddle away from their eyes, knowing full well I won't be able to escape until class is over. Thankfully, it's not long before the lesson ends and I can finally rest my uneasy soul. Just as soon as I step outside, Senpai comes around in front of me and blocks my way dramatically. Aliao, Aliao, we'll meet you at lunch. 中午都没有跟阿廖一起吃的说。呃、uh, ，All right, what do you want? 火锅。Senpai, aren't you forgetting that we have club practice tonight? 有社课也还是要吃饭呢。We're in the dance club, and no matter how you look at it, it's not a good idea to dance on a full stomach. And that's not the only issue. For starters, a hot pot would be way too filling, and secondly, we wouldn't have the time to eat one to begin with. Sorry, Senpai. There's no way I'm dancing after eating that much food. Hmm. 难得可以跟阿廖一起吃饭。It's all right. We'll have lots of chances. No need to hurry. 嗯，好吧。阿廖，你说的哦。嗯哼 ，I will. So for now, how about we just head off to the cafeteria? 哈、huh?。We move to the cafeteria and find a table for four. It's kind of a waste, even though there's technically four of us. After securing a table, Senpai and I go get food. I guess Leopard's never been to a cafeteria, so he comes too. Tiger, on the other hand, follows Leopard, probably just wanting to keep an eye on him. Our college has a super huge cafeteria. They have everything: bentos, noodles, meats, hamburgers, desserts, even a drink bar. You could probably find whatever you wanted. Since we don't have much time, I go look for something simple: a chicken thigh rice. Senpai ends up getting himself some pork rib noodles and, well, an extra large soft drink. 
Senpai, are you really going to drink that much before practice? Hmm. Oh. Alright, we're not... Oh, right, we're not supposed to have a full club practice today. There's only a recitation for the show yesterday. It should be over in a couple of minutes. But you never know, so I'm not about to stuff myself. When I try to argue further with Senpai, Tiger comes back from the stalls. Aliyah, a hamburger? It's just a hamburger. You know, like meat, salad, sauce, between two sesame seed buns. There should be a picture over there on the menu. Oh yeah, mostly pork or beef or chicken though. Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> but you know KFC, right? Traditionally speaking, he's right to not have seen one. Hey, it's not like I live under a rock too. I love hamburgers. I have I even have egg burgers for breakfast all the time. Well, kinda. It's meat between two buns, but with a fried egg. <笑><笑><笑> So, why do you ask? Wait, really? <laughs> so, how about I get one for you? <laughs> it's embarrassed. Uh, me? Nah, I'm not hungry. I thought that he wanted to eat a burger, though. It's not like I need to eat anything. Wow. What? No, wait. So what do you mean by he doesn't eat things? Hmm. How do I say it? Qi, literally breath, air, or gas, represents material energy in traditional Chinese culture. Simply speaking, Qi is believed to be an active principle forming a part of every living thing. However, in some theories, Qi is actually the basic sub substance that forms everything, which implies a traditional, op bleh, a traditional opinion in Chinese culture that everything has life. In this case, both visible things and invisible things are made of qi, so so are gods and spirits. Although, normally when people talk about qi, they only refer to the invisible energies imperceptible to humans. Therefore, when it is said that gods consume qi from foods, it refers to these imperceptible energies rather than any perceptible ones. This is why ordinary people don't notice any changes. So, it's more like an offering? Mm. Yeah. 所以你也可以当成买汉堡给大叔，只是让他尝尝味道，最后还是要你吃掉，不然就只能丢掉了。Okay, so this chi you mentioned is that something gods need? 可以说有必要，不过对神来说，只要有人祭拜就行了。阿廖算是那个大叔的信徒，所以只要有你在，他就不会饿。我家福德也是因为没有信徒，所以神力逐渐衰弱呢。不过虽然说有妙功在,神明的力量就能维持。不过还是以祭品供奉的方式最好哦。不管是要获得信仰,还是获得精气,祭品都是最好的方式呢。Offerings are the best way to obtain qi and attain people's beliefs after all. So I'm the priest? 你把我的本体放在书架上不是吗? 你又... Oops. 很不正式的妙就是了。So all this time I've been serving my guardian tiger, but by that logic, I've done embarrassing things in the temple. 
Is that even okay? And that, and I've never worshipped Tiger's statue properly, not to mention sacrifices. I don't really like the family traditions, but now I feel like I've treated him unfairly because I ignored them. I've never even offered him a sacrifice before, so I can't just say no the first time he's ever actually asked for something. So I'll just go get one. Alio,其实你可以明天再买就好了,当成明天的晚餐嘛。反正现在,你可以看到大叔了,要给他吃什么都行。浪费食物,可是会遭天谴的哦。Yeah, okay. I pretty much decided now to buy my guardian tiger whatever he wants. He's a guardian tiger of my family. It's the least I can do for him after ignoring him for so long. Now that I think about it, maybe Leopard wants something to eat as well? I look around to find him staring at the drink bar. Uh, never mind. I think he's good. Returning to my dinner, I finish off my chicken thigh rice, return my tray, and head off to the club practice with Senpai. The venue for dance club is a place we call the mirror wall. It's basically an open veranda room with the back wall covered in mirrors. We find a corner to drop off our things while the other club members are standing around talking. Tiger leans against a pillar, watching us from the other side of the crowd. Leopard seems enamored with the mirror wall itself. I don't think he's ever seen such a big mirror before. He must be pretty happy to watch us practice after the show last night. Usually, I would hang around with the other freshmen, but I just decided to keep an eye on Senpai. The music's really quiet now. Hold on. There we go. Everyone around us is in high spirits after last night's show. Then our club leader arrives to give us a rousing speech about the show. The whole club echoes their excitement, and I feel it too. I share this honor with my fellow club members. Our successes and our failures are all felt as one. It's just how we are. Senpai, are you alright? You don't seem yourself. Did you get a cold? I didn't mean it like that, but what's wrong? Has anything happened to you? That's right, you'd have to go back anyway. 真的是觉得人类也很不错呢。这么温馨的社团,应该是特例吧。毕竟以我的记忆来说。哎,这话题不适合谈了。What kind of topic? 没事没事。对了,阿廖。说到来苗栗的事啊,你目前是怎么想的呢? Um, well, it's really not that easy. All three of you want my help. 三个都帮。no way. 真的不可能吗? 我这边虽然不是一朝一夕可以搞定的事,但也不会花上个三年五年。你家虎爷只是要你回去,没有说什么时候吧。你爸妈... Oops. How long would that take? Ten years? I need to give up dancing during the best years of my life. There's no way. 那至少来我这边。it's not that easy. You said it wouldn't take more than three years. So how many years exactly? And then, how am I supposed to rejuvenate your temple? I have no idea at this point. Yes,是哦。我还没详细跟你说过。嗯,我想想哦。其实我们那地方也就是个偏乡小庙。也不需要怎么管理了。具体来说,大概就是打扫打扫,跟附近乡亲聊聊天。帮忙宣传一下我们家福德有多灵验。打听一下附近人家的事情，好帮些小忙什么的。Is that a lot? 事情说起来是很普通了，但问题是要让乡亲们愿意来拜拜哦。要说服大家，让大家养成来拜拜的习惯，这可很不容易耶。所以我也很难判断具体来说要花上多久。Honestly, it sounds boring. 无聊的话,
阿刘就可以顺便练舞。There's no way that will work, and you know that well, Senpai. I'd have no tutor or clubmates. I wouldn't get anywhere. 是没错啦，不过也不是完全不可能啊，至少还有我在嘛。阿刘，考虑看看。But senpai, I couldn't do all this while I'm at school, could I? Since I can't just drop out of school, will you wait until I graduate? Even then, if I choose to take two years off, I need to perform my military service before that. And then two years without you, that's probably the end of my dancing career as it is. 这我也知道，但是老实说，本来要靠热舞为生就是很困难的事吧。就连我，应该说严淑琪。都没有认真想要靠热舞为生哦，阿廖，你真的要坚持这一点吗 ？But I can't just give up all the effort I've put into this and all the lengths I've gone to do so far. 其实要说的话，阿廖也只有努力半年多。Heck no! I've wanted to do this since high school. It's not like my other options are better anyway. I don't really care for that stuffy religious stuff. I came to Taipei because I didn't want to be constrained by my family. Now you expect me to give what little I have up just because I have some special talent? 我知道了，这确实不是一下子就能决定的事。阿廖，你好好考虑吧。只是我，我也是真的没办法了才来找你的。希望阿廖还是稍微多考虑一下。嗯。I want to work something out with you, Senpai, but hey, Shuqi, come over here. The club leader is calling Senpai over. Oh, ha!、Huh? Senpai heads off immediately. It seems like they're going to have a meeting. After all, Senpai is pretty important around here. He's practically the backbone of our club. So I guess that's the end of our conversation. There was more I wanted to talk with, to him about. To avoid just standing there, I ready myself to move on. When suddenly, one of the other guys puts me on the spot. Hey, Ah Liao, today you and Shu Qi, the principal, how are you? What's up with us? You come to practice together, then spend heaps of time all buddy buddy with him. So what? You dating him? What a bad boy! What the heck? No, that's nonsense. We're not in that kind of relationship. That you? How do you explain the situation? We were just talking normally. Honestly, it was a serious conversation. How could that be taken as romantic? But it's very obvious. Do you know each other? 那个亲密的气氛很难让人不想歪耶。You see, all the other guys are staring at you. Really? I look around and find a few guys from the Shu Qi Senpai Admirers Club, literally staring at me. What the heck? We were just talking. Our club has a pretty chill atmosphere. Evidently, so chill that people will gossip about anything. Now everyone's gonna think we're in cahoots or something. Is every club like this, or maybe it's just ours? But I was just. You 们刚刚还一起出现，在那之前你们在做啥 ？So nosy. We had dinner. Wow, 那还说没关系。I'm not in a relationship. 哎呦，就跟我说嘛，我们都这么熟了。你跟学长交往可是好事啊，承认又有什么关系 ？Like I said, we were not. 就算我信，其他人也不信呢、啊。你不说清楚的话，哎呀，好了好了，阿良就说不是了，你们别一直烦他。Some other guy grabs the shoulder of the person talking to me. 哎呀，这种八卦很难得耶，打你哦。Of course, he won't really beat beat up anybody, but those guys seem bored of teasing me anyway. Thank God. Thanks a lot, Jia 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 Hao. One thing I know about Jia Hao, even though there's a thousand people with his name, this guy is actually Aboriginal Taiwanese, like the name's origins would suggest. 没什么，这时候你自己要强势点啊，不然他。Oops. Well, I, I mean, it's hard to deny some of the stuff they've been saying. After all, Senpai, well, Shu Qi, possessed by a leopard cat, has been living with me since last night. Embarrassed, I try to avoid Jia Hao's gaze and notice leopards skulking around. Right, there's something I could ask Jia Hao. Jia Hao, you're a Rukai, right? Seeing a leopard reminded me that Jia Hao helped us a lot with information on the Rukai traditions for the show last night. Maybe he knows something. 对啊，怎么了 ？Which tribe? 啊，什么部落 ？It's well, what's your hometown? 你说这个哦，在雾台呀、啊。Yeah, what a coincidence. 巧
Ah, it's nothing really. I can't exactly tell him there's a clouded leopard from Wutai who wants my help. But I really want to ask him something about it. How should I do this? It's alright. It's just that... Well, are you familiar with Rukai traditions? Huh? It's alright. Do you know of any Rukai gods who are clouded leopards? This one, I don't know. 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 I don't Really? Please ask her for me. I'd owe you one. Afterwards, I say goodbye to Jiaha and he heads off. Somewhat believed it. That's over. I am kind of worried that Leopard overheard what we were talking about. Luckily, he's too busy watching some of the guys practicing to take notice. Or for that matter, see how embarrassed I was. It's kind of strange though. Jiaha probably would at least know all the, Ruk all the big Rukai gods. Could there really be no clouded Leopard gods in the Rukai? I mean, even with his modest knowledge of his ancestors' traditions, he's usually on top of this stuff. I start to wonder if I should ask Leopard about it when I'm interrupted by Senpai coming back over. I'm fine. It's just, well, honestly, some guys are making fun of me. They just put me off a bit. It's about you. They're starting to catch on that I'm suddenly spending more time with you. There's been a bunch of gossip about it. Oh, you're not the one being harassed. <laughs> you never know. Heaps of those guys are into you, and you know it. I might get murdered one day. Whatever. It's not like you'll always be around to stop them. 没错。所以，只要我一直待在阿廖旁边就没问题喽。Senpai, this whole this whole time that's been your real intention, right? <笑> stop messing around with me. 还有，真的没关系啦。而且老实说，这些谣言也不会消失的。就算谣言很烦人，我也不可能因此就远离阿廖啊。It's like gossip, okay. I don't think your words are very credible, Senpai. <laughs> I thought you'd at least deny that. What's happening? I'm not sure Uh, what? N no, it's not like that. <laughs> Senpai. <好了阿廖>。我等一下,要先回家去拿点东西。怕拖到太晚,所以先走咯。<laughs> oh, yeah, sounds good. There's no way I'm staying around with all this heat on me today. The issue is leaving with Senpai is just going to throw fuel on the fire. What to do? <laughs> he says it loud enough to get people's attention. Dang it, he did that on purpose. I better get out of here before people start asking questions. I pull my guardian tiger and pull the wait and pull the bleh, and pull the daydreaming clouded leopard aside and get my butt out of there as fast as possible, quickly making my way home. That just makes it more sus. Phew, I'm exhausted. I chuck my backpack on the ground, just about ready to throw myself onto my bed, but I can't take a break just yet. It's a pain no matter how tired I am, I just can't go to bed without having a shower. I rustle my body away from its soft retreat and head to the bathroom, getting into the shower. After the shower, I get dressed and start to tidy up my room when I hear a knock from the door. It's probably Senpai. I open the door to find Senpai lugging a full-on travel suitcase down the corridor. Where is he even going to put this much stuff? Senpai. That bag's huge. Where do you think you're going to put it? It's right there. You really planned this out, didn't you? Because I like Aliao. What kind of response is that? 
I'm giving up on trying to reason with this guy. Senpai then invites himself into my room, humming a cheery tune while he begins making himself at home. Let me lower the... Yeah, you don't need to shower that loud. Before I know it, he's finished setting up his stuff and is off to the bathroom. Sigh, I'm so tired. I collapse onto my bed, complaining to no one but myself. Hmm, what's wrong? So he's a Yao Guai who became a guardian tiger? Yao Guai, literally the evil and strange, is a Chinese term that generally means demon. Traditionally, Han people, China's largest ethnic group, believe that animals and lifeless things may obtain souls and human wisdoms if they become old enough. This kind of Yao Guai is usually called Jing, literally sprite. For example, Hu Li Jing means fox sprite, where Hu Li means fox. Where, with the growth of their life, Yao Guais may attain skills such as speaking human language, changing their appearance, and possessing others. Wait, I missed it. Hmm. I mean, I can't say his actions haven't been weird. I'm still not sure how I feel about him possessing Shuchi Senpai. I mean, he's Shuchi for now, but what happens to the real Yan Shuchi? On top of that, people are starting to think we're in a relationship. I feel bad for Yan Shuchi. This will be his problem too once it's all over. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Honestly, I just need to sleep after all the drama today. I don't really care who's about who's sleeping with me. To avoid the fight, I just pull up my quilt and close my eyes. Senpai will probably turn off the light anyway. I close my eyes and think. Everything that's happened, everything I could do, and the things I didn't do, they all weigh upon my mind as I fall asleep. When I wake up the next day, I feel the same soft warmth next to me. The same big cat is sleeping in my bed, sleeping away next to me. I'm glad they didn't make a drama over it last night. Sadly, I can't sleep forever. It's about time for me to leave, so I get up out of bed and get ready to go to class. What? Nah, I'll be fine with what I had on yesterday. Well, I'll be fine later on. Even Senpai's wearing... Even Senpai's wearing even less than me. So, if you're with me, I'll be fine. So, if you're with me, I'll be fine. Jeez, you don't need to treat me like a kid. Fine, I'll put something on. I can't argue with him, so I end up putting a thick, fluffy coat on, on over the top of what I was going to wear. I don't think I need it, but at least the fur on the inside does keep me warm. I can already tell I'll be hot after walking in it for a while. Okay, I'm heading out now. I grab my backpack and open the door. As you could guess, all three of the big cats follow suit. Once I make it to class, I sit down and things get started. At least Tiger and Leopard haven't gone into any fights today. Maybe my harsh words yesterday got through to them. Tiger sits in the back corner of the lecture hall, clearly disgruntled by the situation. Yep, he may not be happy about it, but at least he's not about to start a fight. Leopard sits next to me, focusing completely on the lecture. Comparing, compared to Senpai tapping away on his phone, he's an honor student. But I doubt he would understand a word teacher's saying. Why is he trying so hard? Maybe he's trying to use this time to learn some Mandarin? Which is probably not a good idea. This is college level stuff after all. It's way too advanced. I hope he's not picking up anything weird from this. Disregarding Senpai's protest to go to a restaurant, we head to the cafeteria during lunch. After all, I promised Tiger that I'd get him a hamburger last night.
That'd be way too expensive. I am. I'm a poor student here, you know. 可是，在学校食堂吃很没气氛呢。I don't want anything romantic. What kind of person dines at fancy restaurants every day, anyway? 虽然是那样了，如果不是跟阿廖吃饭，我也不会特别想吃贵的店。不过，至少一次嘛，陪我约会一次就好。No. Hmm. 阿廖又欺负人。How am I even bullying you? Ignoring Senpai's complaints, I go and buy two burgers. Stares at hamburger. This is a ham. Am I seeing things, or are their eyes sparkling with desire? Tiger picks picks up what? <laughs> Tiger picks up the burger with his giant paws, the palms of which almost cover the whole thing. Then, in a single movement, he finishes the whole thing in one bite. Oh, <laughs> 挺不错嘛。<laughs> 肉有点少，不过配着面包挺好吃的。He then proceeds to lick his claws. It's a little scary. I look back at the table just to find the whole burger still sitting there. Oh, the hamburger's still here. 昨天不是说过了吗？神明只能吃掉祭品的气，没办法把汉堡吃掉的。阿良。So what he ate was the chi from the burger? I guess it makes no difference to me. Even with Senpai's explanation, it's still kind of hard to believe that burger just got split in two. That was only one burger, though. Is that even enough for you, Tiger? Even though I'm worrying about him, there's no way I could finish a third burger. The other one's for leopard anyway. 别在意，我只是想知道汉堡是什么味道，不是真的饿。买太多，阿廖也吃不下吧。Yeah, I guess you're right. 如果阿廖你真的想让我多吃些，就把那个原住民的份给我吧。Just as he says that, the leopard grabs the burger, his burger in a hurry, ready to eat it at a moment's notice. Leopard sneers at Tiger, who returns with a contemptuous stare of his own. It seems like a fight could break out at any moment. That's enough. I'll get you guys hamburgers tomorrow if you want them so much. I interrupt them in an effort to avoid the fight. It seems to go over well enough, but in the end, in the end, is it really the burgers they want or what? After class, I show up with Senpai at dance club. As you could guess, us coming together caused an uproar. At this point, everyone's heard the rumors of me and Senpai being in love. Before coming, I told Senpai to deny it and to keep his distance for both our sakes. It took a bit of work, though. He didn't agree until I threatened to kick him out. Thank God he did, though. I can finally talk to the other guys now. Even after all that, I'm still being asked about my relationship with Senpai. He's totally just trying to mess with me. But Shu Qi's teacher never had any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. He didn't even have any conversation with anyone before. I can't focus on practice while being questioned like this, so I decided to take a break. Taking a seat in corner, taking a seat in corner of the veranda room. Aliao, 要不我去帮你把那只小猫揍一顿 No thanks. It doesn't matter that much, even if he's being annoying. That and I don't want to see them fight each other. I don't even want to think about what would happen if they got into a fight here. I tried to just stop thinking about it, looking toward Leopard to distract myself. He seems to be really into watching the other guys practice. He's moving his hands and fingers, imitating their movements. I figured he'd paid attention to. I figured he'd paid attention in class to learn Mandarin, but why would he want to learn how to dance? I ended up just sitting in a corner, watching Leopard and the other guys dance until the end of practice. When the club leader announces that we're free to go, we all grab our stuff and head off. But suddenly, Senpai comes up to me. Hello, we'll meet you later. Senpai, I told you not to talk to me during practice. 社课上没有啊，现在社课已经结束喽。You know how suspicious it looks if we're together like this. 别怀疑没差，因为是事实。Tiger sends a fierce glare Senpai's way. <laughs> 没有了，<laughs> 那个。The way the sprite wrote. 总之我确实是要回阿廖家嘛。不一起走的话，等一下还要帮我开门，不是很不方便吗？ Actually, no. I don't know. It's simply just too easy for me to open the door for you. 一一起走也没关系嘛。Senpai, 
As much as I want to refuse him, I also don't feel right letting his hopes down all the time. But eventually, I give in, letting Senpai come home with me. Oh boy, I need a freaking nap. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired. Uh, okay, I'll stop there for now. Uh, thank you for watching or staying safe for stopping by. Let me, let me switch to my end screen. I'm so tired. <laughs> Okie dokies. Goodbye, everybody. I'll probably stream next week. We will probably continue this game, at least to finish a route. I really want to play a, a more... A more... What's the word? can't think of the word. A more involved, that's the word, a more involved game. Um, maybe I'll rotate between visual novel and an involved game. In the future. All right. I'm sleepy. Good night. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Good morning. Goodbye.